So in the previous videos, we have discussed the Ampere's law, which is a current carrying conductor produces a magnetic field and the transformer action where a time varying magnetic field produces an EMF in the coil linking the flux. Now let us discuss the generator action and motor action. The generator action says an EMF is induced in moving coil in a stationary magnetic field. And the motor action says a force is applied on a current carrying conductor placed in a stationary magnetic field. So here we are talking about a magnetic field which is stationary and its effect on a moving conductor and a current carrying conductor. The EMF induced in a moving coil is given by V cross B dot L where V is the velocity of conductor, B is the magnetic field flux density and L is the length of the conductor. If we are talking about a cross product of two vector A and B which are perpendicular to each other, the cross product of A and B is given by this. So the angle between A cross B and A is 90 degree and the angle between A cross B and B is also 90 degree. The direction of A cross B can be given by the right hand screw rule. If we move our fingers from A to B, then the direction of thumb is the direction of A cross B. In case of motor action, the force on a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field is given by I times L cross B where I is the current, L is the length and B is the flux density. The direction of vector L should be the direction of current. Now let us take an example. Here we have a magnetic field with flux density B. The direction of magnetic field B is into the screen and then we have a conductor CD which has a velocity given by V in this direction. So the EMF induced in coil CD will be VB into L where L is nothing but the length of the conductor. Now what can be the polarity of induced EMF? There can be two options. First option C is more positive compared to D or, or D is more positive compared to C. So which one is correct? Let us say D point is more positive compared to C. So we can draw a circuit like this and let us say we connect a resistance across CD. So the induced EMF in CD will cause a current to flow. The direction of current is given like this which will flow from C to D because that is the source and inside the source the positive current flows from negative to positive. So from that we can say the current in conductor will be like this. Now if this is the current and this is the flux density B, there is a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field. So there will be a force applied on this. So what will be the force? The applied force will be in this direction. Now this force is in the direction of velocity. So it will try to accelerate the conductor in the same direction. So this is the violation of Lenz law because this velocity is the cause of the induced EMF and if the current caused by the induced EMF supports this cause then that is the violation of Lenz law. So D cannot be more positive compared to C. So the induced EMF cannot have this polarity. Now let us consider another case where C is more positive compared to D and then we have a resistance outside connected between C and D. Then the circuit will be like this. So the direction of current will be from D to C because that is the source and inside the source the current flows from minus to plus and it will be given like this and because of this current I there will be force on the conductor because it is placed in a magnetic field and the force will be 
in this direction. This force will oppose the movement of the conductor and Lenz law says that the effect opposes the cause so this should be the right polarity of the induced EMF.